And, uh, and so I just uh, ran basically as hard as I could. And I pulled back, I think in the first lap, I pulled back about 30 seconds on Keenlay and had it down to uh, 70 seconds on Angert. And, uh, and then by lap two, end of lap two, I had it down to 22 on Keenlay. Uh, and, now, and now I was in second place. And if you do the math on that, well, theoretically Keenlay and I should have in basically reaching the finish line at the same time and so I was mentally preparing myself for that event that we that we were gonna be side by side and have a sprint finish <clears throat> and then I caught him at 18 or so K pulled up next to him yeah I pulled up next to him and uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I figured I had pulled back this time, so I might as well surge on him. And he hopped right on, as you can see right now. <laughs> he hopped right on to the, to the train, and uh, I did not snap the elastic. And holy crap, my run form was absolutely terrible. Oh well. Um, and yeah, he, oh, he looks strong. That's the first time I've seen this. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... And yeah, so now I'm starting to settle in now, and uh, and I figure, okay, it's gonna come down to a sprint finish. 
So we're gonna run side by side for the next couple Ks. So anyways, we go into the technical section and, uh, and then we emerge from the technical section and Keen Knight throws out a surge. Uh, and I was like, holy crap, that's a really strong surge that late into the race. And, uh, but then he slowed down slower than we were running here in this, this section. And then that's when I knew, all right, that took a lot out of him this time to attack. And that's what I did. And, uh, and then I got a, I felt the elastic snap pretty quickly. And, uh, and I just said, all right, hold, hold it steady. And that's what I did. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was one for the, for the memory banks, one that I'll never forget. Another great battle. Do, do you plan to break him early, earlier than that, or I mean, or like right away, or, or did you think you're gonna have to go in and finish? There was no plans. There was no, there was no time for planning. There was no mental energy for planning. It was just uh, living in the moment. Whatever happens, happens. You just make these intuitive decisions in the moment. And, uh, Do you think yeah, about what, anything like Kona in that matter at all from last year? Or do you just think about that? Right <clears throat> now? Nah, you, you can't. Uh, my mental capacity <laughs> is about as close to zero as could be at that stage. All, mus all, all blood flow is headed to the quadriceps and hamstrings and glutes. Nothing is going to the brain, just enough to keep the, the, <laughs> the body alive. <laughs> So no, there's no mentation going on. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is a perfect time of year to be holding the 70.3 World Championship. It's a very fair race due to the 20 meter draft zone and officiated well and uh, good coverage. And, and so yeah, I'll definitely continue to support a race that's, that's giving that kind of uh, effort. But yeah, absolutely one of the things I definitely like to see in the future is to to get everyone here, let's, let's, let's have a true, I mean, there's always a question mark when you do a race like this, is, oh, what if Jan was here? What if Gomez was here? What if Brownlee was here? And, uh, and yeah, I mean, we, I, think, I think we should all get together. We should, you know, if you truly love competition, you truly want to see where you stand, I think we should all plan for ourselves to get together. So hopefully next year we'll have a couple more of the, of the big heavy hitters come out.